Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to upgrade to Windows 11 because of this error that is software license terms error encountered. So if you are facing this problem, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now to go ahead and fix this, first of all, run Windows Update Troubleshooter. For this, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings. Go to Update and Security and then click on Troubleshoot. Now click on Additional Troubleshooter. Now click on Windows Update and then click on Run the Troubleshooter. Now once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then try to upgrade to Windows 11. Still you are receiving the error message, in that case you can go ahead and open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website and here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. So you can go ahead and use Windows 11 installation assistant to upgrade to Windows 11. So click on download now. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And it will go ahead and check for update and Windows 11 should be installed. But still you are facing the problem on the same website here you can see media creation tool. So you can go ahead and use media creation tool to update your Windows 11. So click on download now. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. Then you will see this screen. Click on accept. And by default, Windows 11 will be selected over here. Click on next and then select ISO file, click on next and then you can go ahead and save it to desktop and then click on save. Now once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop and then run this Windows ISO file. So make a double click and then open this setup file. So make a double click now, click on yes to allow. And this will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see the option install Windows 11. Click on next. And it will go ahead and check for update. This process will take some time. So let the process complete. Now again click on accept. And this will go ahead and again check for update. Now this process will also take time. Now once this is complete, before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now, when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So you can go ahead and click on install. And after the installation, you can log into your computer and sh you should have Windows 11 installed on your computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.